Welcome back to another episode of the Chokeslam Wrestling Report, guys. I am back with breaking news from New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, situation that happened this morning at the finals of the New, ja New Japan Cup 2020. Uh, the match that everybody was ready to see in the finals was Evil versus Kosciuszko Okada. Um, it's not the match itself, but what happened afterwards, after that match. Of course, um, I could give you the results if you guys want to listen to it. If you don't want to listen, you could just mute me while I finish doing this. But um, Kosciuszko Okada ended up losing to Evil. So Evil wins the New Japan Cup 2020 um, for LIJ. And he was gonna, he is facing Naito tomorrow at Dominion. Um, and... Very interesting story for two guys from LIJ facing each other. Uh, but this is not the first time the LIJ um, um, members have faced each other before. They've done it in G1 Climax. Sonata ended up losing to Evil in the semifinals to, for Evil to move up to the finals. So this is not nothing new when it comes to LIJ. But what happened afterwards was the most interesting part. As... Uh, Evil was celebrating, Naido showed up, who is the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion plus the IWGP Intercontinental Champion. So, he shows up, he confronts Evil to hype up their match for tomorrow. And all of a sudden, when uh, Naido about to put the fist pump up in the air for the LIJ um, salute, uh, Evil comes out of nowhere and you thought he was going to do the same, but he throws up the two sweep. Right after that, Evil attacks Naido. Bullet Club comes in and beats up Naido. So, Naido did not expect this. And nobody expected it. I didn't even expect this. I mean, that caught me off guard this morning when I saw it on Twitter and other social media outlets of Evil joining Bullet Club. Now, now that I say that, this is the one year anniversary. They can't turn on Ishii and Yoshihashi in a six man tag last summer. And join Bullet Club. Now, let's go back to a situation that happened in 2018. Now, it's very interesting that I'm going to bring this up because Tamatanga and his Tamatanga Island podcast talked about the elite era. And this was a situation where uh, the elite there was Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, the Young Bucks, uh, uh, Marty Scrawl, uh, Cody Rose were the six individuals that call themselves the elite pretty much they were um part of bullet club but they had the thing called the elite um at one point they had um adam cole part of the bullet club and him and the young bucks were called the super clicks um so it was a lot of stuff that the elite went and did with bullet club and um me a killing of money in the back of Bullet Club. And Tama Tonga spoke about that in this podcast this week in Tama Island podcast about how the elite used the, mem the original members of Bullet Club to make a killing. Of course, Ring of Honor jumped on that opportunity. Um, the uh, New Japan, of course, has a working relationship with Ring of Honor and it was everybody was making money. And be everybody was making money. I put it that way. But what was the problem there was the uh the elite was making money but the bullet club wasn't getting the royalty money because they were selling the shirts and everything was done in the united states so that left the pretty much the uh the tamas uh tamatanga and the tongas and, and, and um the chase owens and the uh freaking uh tarahashi or takahashi whatever his name is the, the tokyo pimp all by wondering what's going on and then we walked into san francisco when the firing squad was born and they tamatanga his brother tangaloa and his father haku beat up the whole elite and that was a wrap the civil war was started that never really finished but bullet club was back on top it wasn't long until then that everybody thought that bullet club was dead i remember that one um and I drink to that because it's funny. Uh, everybody said Bullet Club was dead. Uh, they're not going to be the same because the elite left. Uh, the only ones that suffered of um, of the elite leaving Bullet Club was Ring of Honor. Because after that, 
the elite left Ring of Honor, left Ring of Honor on its own. They started what we now know as AEW. But then Bullet Club in Japan decided that, okay, we're going to have to, you know, um, get back on our feet. They got Chase Owens back. Uh, they got the Tokyo Pimp back after they beat them up in San Francisco for trying to help the rest of the other guys. Uh, but they were back in the fold. Uh, then they added F F Tasmo, and then last year they ended. Um, they added, or the year before they added um, Jay White as their leader, and then they added Kenta. So the group was already um, strong as it is because they were dominating most of the the, the the belts in Japan. They had the tag team belts, the which the Gorillas of Destiny held. Then they had the IWGP Junior Tag Team belts that Ishimori and F Tasmo held for a while um so they kept they were still dominating but now we're talking about evil from long lij okay it's bad enough that for other uh stables in japan that they had added kenta into the fold which that made bullet club strong even though lij was still the most powerful stable in there they went they had all the belts um what's gonna happen now with the six man tag with the never open way six man because i know sonata ibushi and i think it was not sonata i don't think it was evil ibushi and, and uh takaji shingo takaji with the six man never open way champion what's gonna happen with that so now you gotta unless they put somebody else from the group to to defend that belt which i could see happening maybe sonata comes walks in and, and and be part of the six man tag but now evil it's part of bullet club and if you thought bullet club was dead i don't think so bullet club just became stronger what's funny is that tamatanga kept saying there's a new era there's a new thing coming in at all the last podcast i've been hearing he's been talking about new things coming and it's not over because luke gallows and car anderson they are coming to new japan and they will be part of bullet club and I could see it happen. They're going to become that little, little uh, group again like they were back in 2013. Now, what's going to happen with LIJ? I mean, you got Hiromo Takahashi, your junior tag team champion. You got, uh, of course, Naito got both belts. But we don't know how long that's going to be because tomorrow he's supposed to face Evil. Would Evil win the IWGP and the Intercontinental Champion uh, tomorrow? Because now he's part of Bullet Club. Bullet Club is going to interfere. You know that. And now we could have a big war between LIJ and Bullet Club. It's, um, but who's going to fill in evil spot? That is the question. You know what I'm saying? That is a real, real good question. I mean, that in the staples in New Japan right now, you got Suzuki Gun still strong with Tai Chi is the number one guy there. Even though Minoru Suzuki is the leader. But Taishi and uh, Zack Sabre Jr., those guys are, are, are the ones from that. Chaos has chaos is not as strong as before. You know what I'm saying? The fact that Okada lost um, in the New Japan Cup final, what, what's going to happen with him? Are they going to push it? Are they going to... We don't know. Uh, right now in New Japan, even though they don't have all their wrestlers there, Jay White is not back. You got Realize the Destinies are not back. Kenta's not back. Balak Fale is not in there. So... But this was a shocking development that happened overnight. No one saw this coming. You know what I'm saying? There was a little dissension here and there with Evil um, uh, last year. Uh, there have been one-on-one -on -one confrontations with Sonata and Evil in the past. Um, but I knew something was up with Evil. Evil looked different compared to what he has been the last couple of years. Uh, he fought Sonata and he took every chip shot he was gonna do i mean that he going by his moniker is evil so we don't know what's gonna happen but right now bullet club adding um evil into the fold think about this evil and kenta being a tag team going after the iwgp tag team belts which even though the, the gorillas of destiny the other ones are always going after those but but think about it then you got car you bring car anderson and luke gallows that's another tag team in there there Bullet Club may be strong. Or oh, who knows? Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson may not join Bullet Club. And they might start some other squad. Or some other scrap. We don't know. But this this was a very interesting development that happened overnight. Um, while we were all sleeping, Evil was turning on Naito. And becoming a new member of Bullet Club. 
I know a lot of you guys may not follow New Japan because you don't, you guys watch AEW, WWE, but let me tell you something, New Japan right now is getting very, very interesting. There's not many of us in the podcast world and the IWC uh, that talk about New Japan because people don't really, I guess, don't follow New Japan like I do. Uh, but right now, New Japan right now is going to get hot. And I believe in this show, they have fans already. So Japan is already um, pretty much over the uh, coronavirus. Um, and hopefully, uh, or should we say COVID-19? We can't say the, the, the name, but um, I already did. I'm probably going to get uh, um, probably um, penalized, but whatever. Um, but... Um, it's interesting it's very interesting that you know we're gonna have a very interesting th you know right now uh, to be honest um i think new japan is being very interesting even though um as far as aew is concerned they worry me right now because they not on point right now as far as storylines they all over the place and i mean you're probably gonna ask me what i'm talking about but that's that'll be something i'll talk about that in my audio podcast this weekend um uh, tomorrow actually on apple spotify uh google podcast or google play uh, that's my audio podcast on anchor so you guys could follow me on that but i'll be talking about that tomorrow but right now new japan is very is making me very interested in what they're going what they're going to bring because tomorrow is dominion one of the best uh video uh pay-per-views if you want to call that or best events that they have in the summer but interesting developments so evil becomes a bullet club member leaves lij hanging attacks naido and he's about to face him tomorrow uh so definitely we definitely got to check that out this is a very small video i, I figure doing the breaking news let you guys know what's going on because a lot of you guys wrestling fans don't follow new japan but i jumped on this real quick as soon as i heard it and i needed to get on it and you know and um pretty much let you guys know what it's all about so until then guys i will talk to you soon remember uh you go let me know what you think about this video leave me your comments do you think that um bullet club has become stronger than ever before compared to they were two years ago when the elite uh left them or they they, they took them out uh, and you know it uh, is is there gonna be a war between lij and bullet club i mean that's gonna be something Who's going to be the new LIJ member? Because I'm sure they're going to bring, they're going to, they're going to have to bring somebody else in to, uh, uh, to uh, fulfill that void that evil left. And it's got to be somebody who's strong, better, and whatever. It's, it's got to be on point. So uh, definitely, again, I am very, very interested in what's going on in New Japan. Um, so if you guys, uh, again, I am probably maybe the one of the people out here who does new japan's um reviews and stuff that happens there's not a lot of people everybody does wwe stuff or AEW stuff or indie stuff nobody really talks about new japan so i'm here to bring in the breaking news to let you know evil has become a bullet club member leaving lij he attacks naido today and he is facing him tomorrow for both belts the iwgp world heavyweight title the iwgp intercontinental champion and and by the way, is that a good idea for a guy to have both belts? Why don't you just unify it and get it over with? And that's it. So until then, guys, again, leave me your comments. Leave me your, 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 your uh, you know, leave me, let me know how you feel about this. Um, again, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that notification bell for every new uploads. And again, Thank you once again for subscribing to my channel. For everybody who has been subscribing to my channel and leaving me comments on all my videos. Uh, I thank you. Guys, check out the rest of my contents that I got on this channel. I got a lot of very interesting contents in here. Um, so, check it out. Take a peek. Until then, guys, I will see you guys soon. Stay safe. Wear that mask. Until then, I see you guys soon.